Welcome to Papa's Workshop. Today is going to be the second video that I'm doing in this series on working with the V-Carve desktop. Today I want to be able to take shapes and be able to weld them together. I want to show you using a 90 degree V-bit how you can actually make grooves around the sign, be able to bring in vectors into your drawing, and of course do the V-Carve letters. So let's get started. To be able to give you an introduction to the V-Carve using a 90 degree V-bit today, we're going to make this sign. And this sign is going to use a number of techniques that I want to be able to introduce you today to be able to include how to weld these different components together to be able to make this sign, be able to bring in this vector into the project, and of course do the V-Carve lettering. So let's get started with doing this sign today. I'm going to go ahead and close out this and we're going to start with a brand new window. To begin this project today, I am in the job setup window. This is going to be a single sided job. The size that I'm going to make this, we're going to make it 14 inches by 11 inches. And we're going to leave this at 0.5 inches. This will remain in inches. I'm not going to use the millimeters. And we're going to use, as far as the zero position for the z-axis, it's going to be on the material surface. The xy datum plane position is going to be the bottom left. We don't need to do anything with the scaling at this point, and we don't need to do anything with this portion down here. So I'm just going to click OK. Now this gives me my work area. The first thing that I'm going to do is just grab a rectangle and we're just going to go over here and draw that out onto the surface. Now this is already clicked in here for these in rotated internal corners. I could use just the square and you can see how that would look. I could use the external and that would make it where it's rounded. And in this case, I decided to go ahead and use the radius on the internal and it is using on a 0.5 inch radius. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit apply and that takes care of it. The next thing that I want to do, because I just drug this in, I want to go ahead and close this window out, and I want to center this in the work area. So now it's centered in my workspace. The next thing that I wanted to do is add this feature right here on both sides. To be able to do that, I'm going to close this window, and we're going to go and take a look at the oval. And I'm just going to start here at the center point and draw an oval. And I'm going to bring it up to about that point. I think that looks pretty good. Now then, I need to get this oval onto the other side. Now that I have this oval in place, the easiest way to be able to get the next one is just close out this window. And I had double clicked and I have the second one here. With this one highlighted, I'm going to take this now and drag it over to the other side. And you can see where the snap comes into place and that shows the center line. So I can just bring it right over to that point, release it, and that puts it into place. So now I can just click anywhere and be able to release that and now I have the overall drawing complete. Now the next thing that I want to be able to do is I want to weld all of these vectors together and create one object. So what I am going to do is highlight the entire drawing so all of the vectors are highlighted and then I want to come over to this weld feature. 
the well feature will join everything together and it will create the outline for my sign. So just click anywhere in the drawing and now the vectors go away and you can see the black line. So that's the shape of the sign. Now then, the next thing to do is to create an offset. So I'm going to highlight this vector and I want to offset this back. So we'll go over and click on my offset. We're going to click on the outward and I'm going to use a half an inch. So the offset is done and I'm just going to close that. So now that my offset is done, I can click anywhere. The basic shape now of my sign is complete. Now using the V-carve, if I highlight this, it's going to want to create a V-carve and go deeper and deeper and deeper until I get to the point of no return, cut through the material. We don't want that. What I want to be able to do is create a separate line here to be able to create just the V groove all the way around the sign. To be able to do that, we're going to come back to the Offsetter app again. I'm going to highlight that, and this time we're going to go on the inward, but we're only going to go 0.1 inch. That is what will create the opportunity for that bit to just go inside of this area and it's not going to be dealing with the entire surface. The way the V bits work is they're going to continue to go down deeper and deeper until the geometry of the bit touches the sides. Once it touches the side of your drawing it stops and it doesn't go any deeper. The next thing that I want to be able to do is bring in the vector. So let's close out this. I'm going to come up to this window right here. I am going to click on my Louisiana Pelican right there and bring that into the drawing. Now that you don't see it here, the easiest thing to do is let's zoom out and there he is. So I want to, he's highlighted. So now I can just bring him over where I want him and put him in position. If I click on this, these are individual pieces. I like to be able to group it all together because it's going to make it a whole lot easier to be able to work with. The other thing, I'm going to zoom in, there's some very small pieces that I want to be able to get rid of. So I can just highlight the individual pieces and delete them. And that will eliminate those pieces from the drawing. So those are just really too small. And let's see, I think I'm actually, I'm gonna leave one I'm going to get rid of this one. So all of that now looks pretty good. But I've got a couple over here on this beak. I want to get rid of this. Now, the pelican looks pretty good and it's pretty clean. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the whole entire pelican. And I didn't get him. I missed this tail. So I'm going to do it one more time. There we go. Now I have the whole entire pelican highlighted. And what I want to do is come over here to where it says group. So I'm going to click on that. And now this pelican is grouped together as one object. So if I click it, everything clicks. That's what I want to be able to have happen. The last thing that I want to add is the text. So I'm going to go over and click on the text box and, as, and I'm going to type in the word Louisiana.
And then as far as the type of text, I can drop down menu and select any text in here that I wish. But at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and use this one. I'm going to close this window. I'm going to highlight my Louisiana and I'm going to bring it up into my line. And that is now centered on my sign. Now these facing is a little bit close together and I need to be able to separate that. The easiest way to be able to do it is come back over to my icons and this one it says edit text spacing and the curve. So I'm going to select that and now you see this selection where I can actually go in between these letters and bring them closer together. By hitting the shift key I can expand that. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and then click on the mouse and go between each of the letters and that spacing looks a whole lot better. Now if I wanted to do a curve and I showed this on the last sign I could curve that. If I wanted to go the other direction I could. I could grab the bottom one and do the same thing. So that gives you the flexibility to be able to curve the letters real easy. But I think I'm going to leave this one straight. And we're going to call this sign done. Now let's go over now to the tool pass. So to be able to do that, I need to click on this tab right up here. That will bring up the tool path. And I want to use the V-carve. We're going to use the V-carve. Our Start depth is going to be zero, which is at the surface. I'm using a 90 degree V bit. And what are the vectors? Really, I want everything selected. Now, you notice the little T in here? I didn't close out of that. So, I'm going to go back over here, select on my selection mode and that eliminates it. Now I just have the arrow. So now that I'm going to highlight these different vectors and I can hold the shift key down and select each of the vectors that I want to be included. With all of those selected, I have this Done. So let's go down to the bottom and let's calculate it. Okay, when I go to calculate, I have this error message that comes up that says that there may be some overlapping or intersection of the vectors that could cause a problem. So what I want to be able to do is go to a vector validator. That brings up this window. All I really need to do here is select the search selected and then I can look at my pelican and I can see the various problems throughout. So all I need to do to correct it is select fix zero link spans and then close and now my pelican has been corrected. I'll go back and hit calculate and now I have all of my vectors done and I can do the preview now and see what that's going to look like. So now you can see the pelican looks good. I have my thin line that goes around the sign and of course I have Louisiana printed. Now the last thing that I want to do is be able to highlight this outer vector and then we're going to come over and we're going to create my cutout. I'm using the 2D profile toolpath and I'm starting at a zero cup depth and we're going to go 0.56. Granted the material is a half inch thick but I'm doing that to make sure that I cut all the way through. We're using an eighth inch bit to be able to do this 
and then I'm going to cut on the outside. Now the next thing, I could be using tabs, but I do not want to use tabs for this because I am using my glue and tape method. So no tabs will be added. All right, so we'll calculate that. We'll get the little warning message that it's gonna come up and cut all the way through. We know that, so that's okay. So now we see the project. So I wanna reset everything. And let's go ahead and preview all of the tool paths. To be able to remove that, double click on it. And now you can see what this sign is going to look like. All that's left to do now is to select the post processor, save this to the computer, and carve. Hi everyone, thank you for watching my video today. If you like the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and the little bell next to it so you'll be notified on the different videos that I upload. Also check out the videos over here to be able to stay up to date on the happenings in my shop. So again, thank you for watching my videos.